So since I'm trying to like use Illustrator more, um, I figured like while I'm also working on comics and stuff, I should force myself to use Illustrator. I had no idea they had like a brush tool now. What? When did that happen? Like, what? Like, I actually am kind of down for it, like, because, you know, I like the last time I've used Illustrator, which this is probably dating, like, how much I don't use Illustrator, they didn't have this tool. Like, you couldn't do this before. Like, and it's Vector still. Like, what the fuck? That's amazing. Um, oh my god. I I'm probably won't have, like, the best workflow, because to be honest with you, when you do, like, laser stuff, you don't necessarily, like, need super intense, like, Vector art, like... There's not, like, guidelines, like, if I worked for, like, a graphic designer or anything. It, the only reason you need um, the line work to be a vector for, say, like, uh, if you're doing cuts and stuff, you don't necessarily need it to be, a, like, vector if you're doing engraving, because technically the the software won't really, like... I don't know how to explain this, but <laughs> it makes little difference because it's it's basically when it's when it's printing out, when it's printing, it's it's kind of like it's taking off parts of the surface. So like you don't necessarily need it to be a vector when you're engraving, but you definitely need like the cut lines, which this might actually make it like really easy for me, like when I'm making other people's charms, because I could literally just do fucking that, and then make that the outline for the charm. Cause I I never knew they had this before. Like I like when I first, cause I'm still not very good at Illustrator, to be quite frank with you. Like I still hate this program a little bit. Um, but oh my god, what? <laughs> Uh, see, I usually get mad at Adobe for changing things, but this is so awesome. Oh my Jesus. I'm like, look at, look at that, now it's a vector. Well, like, uh, this is probably, like, a child. Like, everybody understands, like, yes, Holly, things can be vectors, idiot. But this is, like, such an improvement because I hated using that fucking pen tool. I really did. And this is, like, actually, like, not that bad. But like I said, I don't really, like, because most people will, like, arrange everything, like, really nice, and, like, I'm sure this makes, like, the worst, like, everything, but, like, I don't need it to be infinitely editable, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I, I still will probably have to, like, actually learn how to properly do things and not just like my dicking around knowing how to do things because most of the time when I learn stuff it's just me dicking around till I sort of understand what I'm doing <laughs> but wow oh that's so cool okay so I got something really awesome and I want to show you guys uh because this is basically a something that I've wanted for years, except these things are excruciatingly expensive. So, check it out. I got flat files. I've always wanted flat files, and I got some. So basically, some a guy on Facebook was selling this flat file, and there, there are actually two flat files. It's this one and this one. And he was selling it, like, as, like, a big stack. Like, t it didn't have any legs. Ne neither of these had legs, and it was missing the tops. Even so, if you look up the price of fucking flat files, go ahead, just do it. Like, open a new tab and just look up flat files, artist flat, flat files, and you will see how fucking expensive these mofos are. And anyways, so I was like, okay, I want them. It was 50 bucks for the flat files. So cheap. So we got the flat files, and then I measured this part, and then this is actually, um, what, what is this called? Subflooring for... Like, uh, what's it, uh, like when you, when you install flooring, you usually have to put a slub floor. So I went to Home Depot and I got this because it's, like, fairly smooth. Um, so I, I installed by, like, drilling a small hole and then, um, then putting screws in so they won't get off. Um, and then I also installed Ikea legs so that they'd be off the ground. So now I have two of them. So the laser can actually fit on this one. Well, they can fit on either one, actually, but yeah, <laughs> check this out. It can hold so much stuff. It's amazing. Here's my leg for scale, by the way. My entire fucking leg. 
like, so now I don't have to buy, like, a, a special fucking table, because I can put the laser right here on top of this. Ah, uh, it's so nice. I fucking love it. And now I don't have to have so many organizers, because I have fucking flat files. Ah, uh, I'm so excited, because I also want to do, um, like, when I start making the charms and stuff, like, put them in here, and they'll be labeled, because this right here is an area to put labels. So yeah, a local architect made my day. Also, like, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they did have this in Illustrator and I'm just a fucking idiot. I mean, that's that's likely. But like, I swear to God, it wasn't like this before. There was some, I don't know. I don't use this program that much, so you can, you, I don't fucking know. But I'm sure people who use Illustrator all the time can tell me what is different about it because I swear to you, like, when I first started using Illustrator, it was like, I don't know, like 20, 13, something like that, um, shit was different, like, there was, I don't think there was this tool before, right, like, my memory does not remember having, like, this tool, because if I did, I would have definitely used it, because, like, this is so much better, or maybe, like, my classes didn't let me, which that could also be it, um, I had a lot of classes where they had specific guidelines onto like how to use certain things, so it could be that like it existed and I was not allowed to use it um, for whatever reason. Uh, I remember having an illustrated class where like uh, I cried in class because like I literally was so stressed out and like I wanted to die because nobody was explaining shit to me and I was so confused and I felt like an idiot. <laughs> uh, programs make me stressed so like you know this is so cool i love this yay okay it's the next day we finished this i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this this was me just dicking around um i need to have like product examples so like i need to make a bunch of junk before i get the laser um so i have to make some stuff uh today i'm not gonna work on comics because I'm waiting on, like, my phone tripod thing because, like, I want to record me working on those, like, sketch card things and it just seems like, I don't know. Anyways, tangent, but today I'm going to work on a bunch of laser stuff, um, but yeah, um, you might notice this isn't, like, a full black, this is a gray. The reason is, is the fills being gray instead of black is because it'll kind of give it a more 3D effect when it's engraved because the blacks are going to be engraved at a deeper level and the grays are obviously less deep. So it kind of makes it like slightly more 3D. I don't know. Um, plus I just, I've seen people where they just do it solid black and it looks bad. So my, my dog is growling at my cat. Oh my God. Okay, so here's kind of like a necklace idea I had. I need to add the little bit up here where it will be a necklace. Um, so basically, well, it, it's kind of like those um, old clocks where, uh, you know, as the minutes go by, the tail moves. But I thought it would be cool to make a necklace like that. It's not really, like, I don't think I would get sued for this because it's not quite exactly the same. <laughs> Anyways, it, it looks different. If you look up those clocks and you look up this, it looks... It's significantly different. We're fine. Um, anyways, um, but what? how I want it is so I would have the tail separate, and it would attach with, like, two, um, like... I took the, the glasses off because, like, I just can't stand the, the whole glasses thing. I just... I think it looks... I look so disgusting with glasses. Um, anyways... Basically, I figured I would tell you guys a thing or two that's gonna suck real- well, I mean, it's not gonna it's gonna make my life a little more complicated. So, my sister wants to get a divorce, uh, and, um, she has a, a one-year-old, and, um, basically she has nowhere to go, um, she doesn't have a car, you know, there's, um, Good reason why, though. Uh, her husband basically, like, when they got together, he was a recovered alcoholic, quote-unquote. Um, and he started drinking again, and she's tried, like, literally everything, and he won't, you know, stop. And, um, yeah, so she texted me and was like, um, I need help, blah, blah. 
So when I move out, m most likely what's going to happen is my sister's going to move in with me and Robin. Um, Robin is my niece, the one-year-old. Um, she's going to be two in June. But anyways, um, yeah, so like all the places that I was looking to rent, I need to have four bedrooms instead of two. Um, and when when she first moves in, we're probably not going to have like child support like right off the bat. So it's like literally me supporting three people um, with my income. So I'm kind of just like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be the deal. And uh, yeah, so just so you know, that's if I have, if you ever hear like screaming and shit in the new place when I move out. It's a child. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, like, I love my sister a lot, so, like, it's not, I don't have any problem with my sister moving in. It's just, like, I, I don't handle children very well, um, and, like, I don't know how I'll deal with that, because I just, I, I don't, I don't want to say I don't love my niece, because I love her, but she's child. She's, like, baby baby. And babies can't tell you what the fuck their problem is, so they scream, and I don't, I don't know. They're just loud, and they make me depressed. So, like, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna respond to that, because, like, you know, I didn't sign up for baby, but, you know, I can't have my sister live with, like, an alcoholic. Like I said, my dad, my dad died, um, last year because he was an alcoholic, like, so I just refuse to, like, let my sister, like, live in a place where it's gonna be a bad influence on Robin. So, yeah, that's probably gonna happen, so I'm gonna have to, like, bust my ass in the next few months because I need to get a car, and I need to get a place to rent, and I would like to have quite a few monthly expenses, like, already paid for ahead of the time. So, like, yeah. <laughs> Whew. But yeah, that bomb was a lot to deal with. <laughs> like, dropped on me. Anyways, it's not like, I'm not depressed over this. I'm actually like, okay, well, again, I love my sister, like, infinitely more than my brother. Actually, I have, like, pretty much no love for my brother. I know that's really bad, but, like, he's dead to me. He's been dead to me. <laughs> but my sister is more or less my twin, so, like... We have, like, twin speak, so, like, I understand, like, this needs to happen because, like, I don't want my sister in that environment, so. Shit sucks, but, like, you know, dealing with the child is a lot easier than dealing with, like, my sister dealing with an alcoholic, if that makes any fucking sense. Anyways, what you can do with a laser is, okay, I have, like, so many laser ideas, and, um, when I get the laser, I'm also going to be simultaneously working on comic pages while also starting a new business. Um, because, you know, the the laser business is kind of what I'm hoping to, like, you make a lot of products with. Because you can make a lot of products with the laser. Um, so basically every ounce of profit, like, for Purgatory is going to the laser. <laughs> or, like, laser stuff. Um... Don't worry, I'll set aside, like, pretty much all the expenses that, like, I need to, like, the shipping and, like, all the printing. That will be set aside, so, like, I'm not gonna touch that. I'm not an idiot. I know how, like, to manage this stuff, but, like, I've already actually bought all the shipping stuff for Purgatory, but anyways. Um, what you can do is you can do woodblock prints, and you can also make rubber stamps with this laser. So I was thinking it would be really cool to, like, make a couple videos of me making some, like, um what's it, some wood, uh, wood block prints, um, and you can also use those wood blocks to, like, put that on the brown paper packaging, so it's gonna be pretty fucking cool, because, like, I can basically make, like, stamps, um, so I'll show you guys some, like, examples of, like, what wood block prints are, if you guys don't know, here, I'll, I'll like, google it and, like, show you guys. Okay, so typically a wood block print would be a carving inside a piece of wood. But since I have a laser engraver, I would just have to engrave onto the wood. Um, so yeah, I could basically make, um, I, I don't know if I could do this level of, oh, I probably could do this level of detail, but like, um, yeah, like there, it's, it's, it's really nice. You get really high quality pigment prints. So I'm going to try to find some examples of like, 
really cool ones like that I would probably try to do. So hold on, let me try to find like a print that like I think looks cool. So hold on. Okay, so here's a video of like somebody using a laser to make woodblock prints. Now this is an epilogue laser, it's not the laser that I'm gonna get, but um, so basically you engrave it really deep and then you can, um, here I'll show you like how they're doing it. Um, I'm turning off that audio, yuck. So yeah, you can press it down like that or you can have like these little mallets that you kind of punch. I don't know how to explain it, but um, and they what I would like to do is a layered wood block. So like you can have, um, they're hard to align, but basically you can have multiple layers of color. So I think that would be kind of cool. I don't know. So I'm going to design a couple like wood block print stuff. And then, you know, I'm just going to design a bunch of laser stuff today so I can like get it ready. So yeah. So here's kind of like a wood block print where it has multiple colors and layers. So like, that's what I mean. I would like to do one where I could have like multiple layers of it. So, um, ye. Also, by the way, I signed up for San Japan. I don't know if there's like any guarantee of getting in. Um, if you don't know, it's like a random raffle of like you typing in your information as fast as humanly possible and then you just fucking hope you get in. Um, I don't even know what I would sell because I don't really want to sell fan art. So I'm kind of just trying to be like, ah, oh, what the fuck do I sell? So I'm, I'm trying to like also right now determine what it is that I would like to make. What would I buy, you know? So I'm trying to think about like when I make junk, what junk would I buy? And it's mostly cutesy, stupid garbage. So that's probably what I'll end up making. But yeah, if I end up going to San Japan, I'll let you know. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, when I get the laser engraver, I am going to offer like these so if you guys want to make your own custom notebooks I'm gonna offer selling these so like uh, if you want to have something like this at a convention I will sell stuff like this um, these are actually like really easy to make I didn't realize all you have to do is just get the comb binding and then you just laser engrave the front and then you stick the the paper in it and the paper I will have to buy a whole a special hole punch for it but like that will be, I won't have these available immediately because I want to like see where the profits lie with all the stuff I'm making. But yeah, I will have this um, uh, on, on the shop eventually and it will be about this size, like five by seven, because I can buy pre-cut five by seven sheets because I'm not cutting paper for these because cutting paper means imprecise cuts and I don't want to do that. So yeah, <laughs> there, there will be a standard this size only, so yeah. So I'm thinking for the woodblock print, I kind of want to do something like that print. Um, that's obviously a Miyazaki, like, Kiki's Delivery Service print. But I kind of want to do something food related and then add, like, cute little critters in there. And then just, like, continue to keep adding, like, cute things into other designs. So I'm going to try to decide how I'm going to do that. I don't know what type of animal I want to do. I'm thinking a rabbit, so, because I really like rabbits. I think they're, well, they're weird looking if you look at them from the front. But other than that, I like rabbits. <laughs> the brown bubble mailers came in. I am so happy that they're actually brown because, like, a lot of bubble mailers, like, when you buy them, they're actually not brown, like those ones. Even though on the listing, they're brown, and they say craft brown. That is not craft brown. That's manila, you fucking idiot. Oh my gosh. So yeah, some of the people who are on Kickstarter will get these. It depends on like how big your thing is, and then I will use up those. Sorry, I know it's ugly, but like that's what I got. So yeah, I want to use those up. I'm not just going to get rid of them, you know? So I want my aesthetic to be brown, and you know, some people are liars on their description pages. But yeah, this is like my favorite type of brown. Craft brown. Yes. The best brown. Okay, I was originally going to make like woodblock prints, but then I got distracted. So here's kind of like a mock-up. I just sort of like put a wood texture over it so I could tell like where the places it would be cut out. So basically I want to make a couple of these types of things. These type of things. Um, 
basically the bed size of the laser can can do about 12 by 18 um, I mean 11 by 18 so I can do fairly large uh, wood things and I was thinking you know it would be really nice to do kitchen type stuff because I I don't know if you all y'all are aware of this but I fucking love kitchen decor it's kind of a problem like when when I move out you guys will see how much kitchen decor I have it's kind of ridiculous but anyways um I was thinking you know it would be cool if, if if I made like a bunch of signs that have like measurements because um when you're baking and stuff and you don't know like the conversions of like liquids to like cups to qu quarts to gallons you know plus it'll be a cute little sign so I'm gonna do a couple of like designs like this I don't know how big I want to make this it might look stupid if it's huge but yeah I want to do like a cat one and one with like more food you know a bunch of different ones Y'all, I don't know how to handle all these damn stretch goals. I'm still drawing the sticker sheet and for the Kickstarter, and I just reached the wooden charm stretch goal, and I'm like, what the fuck do I do now? Um, so I was thinking I could do buttons, because again, keep in mind, I have a lot of ideas of purgatory merch, but I have to make sure that like when I do this Kickstarter, the stuff that I make for the Kickstarter stretch goals has to be very lightweight. Um, so, I was thinking I could do buttons. Um, typically, people don't do buttons because, to be honest with you, buttons are kind of like, kind of lame. I don't really want to do buttons because they're lame, but, okay, I thought, what if they were special buttons? So then I got to thinking, what if I got a heart-shaped, because I've seen these before, these are the heart-shaped, um, but this is a heart-shaped button machine. Um, so this kit includes a hundred of the, the pieces, um, the cutter and this thing, or at least a hundred. Oh no, it's got 500. Oh my God. I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite expensive as you can see. Um, but again, this could be something that I could offer other people. So you wouldn't have to get them made in China. Um, and I could, uh, have the machine for like forever so I could keep making like heart-shaped buttons um, so I think that'll be the stretch goal um, it'll be kind of expensive but like really it would be like the seven thousand dollar stretch goal so I'm gonna come up with some designs and be like okay here we go um, and then I'll get it and then I'm also gonna order the excess uh, pin backs um, the only thing that worries me about this is that like Eventually, like, they'll stop selling these because this is, like, a Chinese product. So, like, it does kind of worry me that eventually, like, this investment will not really, like, hold through. But I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. I, I feel like I, I should just go for it because at the end of the day, it's, it's not, like, a major investment. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Um, because I feel like I... I, I feel like I could definitely use this past um, just this Kickstarter because, again, I could offer this um, for people to to buy these so then they don't have to order it from China. Um, so, I don't know. I think it might be kind of worth it. And, like, all my, all my friends could also have heart-shaped buttons. So, we'll see. I mean, it's not like I need it. So, it'll just be, like, a stretch goal. So, like... You know, <laughs> we'll just see how it goes, but, because I was at a loss, because I really didn't want to do metal bookmarks again, because, uh, if you don't know, the last Kickstarter I did, I did metal bookmarks, and I ordered those from China, and my laser can't cut metal, so that kind of sucks, um, so, like, my thought was, is that, I, I, I didn't want to do metal bookmarks, because, like, it literally, like, took forever to get those freaking bookmarks, and to be quite honest with you, they weren't exactly what I wanted, so, like, yeah, I don't know, um, <laughs> yeah, um, so, I want to do this, because this seems like something where I could use it still, and it's not just, like, a one-time thing, and then it's, like, unused product, it's, like, I could, I could press as many as I need, and then you know, offer it, so it, it, it actually pays bigger dividends than just, you know, more or less kind of wasting money on, on worthless shipping, 
um, because when you when you order stuff from like Alibaba, like if I ordered like custom pens from like if I ordered like heart shaped pens from like Alibaba, it would cost like probably the same amount in shipping, which would be really frustrating because that's money you'll never get back unless you fucking have the button machine. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna try to like vlog every day, but like who knows if I'm gonna be able to keep that up. I'm gonna try. Um, I have had a lot of stuff going on, so it might be like every other day or something. I don't know. I'll try to do it as much as I can because like it may not be posted every day, but I can like vlog every day. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you have any like uh, stretch goal ideas, other than the heart shape button things, let me know because I'm not like against any other ideas. I just I need something lightweight, so that's kind of why I'm trying to think. So yeah, let me know.